Hey everybody, Ryan here, and we have a pretty cool football product. So we have a box of 2022 Jersey Fusion Football Edition. So last year I opened up a hobby box of the 2021 Jersey Fusion All Sports, so it had you know every major sport in there. So these are pretty cool cards. Um, you can get game dated patches. Um, they're going to be just cards on mags, basically with a game used or player worn piece of memorabilia on it and in the hobby boxes we should get three premium jersey fusions so i think those are going to be either numbered or you know double patches that kind of thing um so last year i had a lot of fun with the 2021 stuff so really excited to see an all football version so we're going to open it up and see what we get your turn to the channel really appreciate the support first time here with a lot of football baseball basketball a bunch of different stuff and when i see Kind of interesting things like this that are a little bit out of the box. I try to pick them up and see how they are. I know you sometimes can find the single boxes of these at Walmart. Um, so definitely maybe check out your local Walmart soon. See if we have them. Just going to get them all out of the boxes. This is a pretty big hobby box. We have 10 total cards we're going to get. I believe this was about 325 I think, I want to say. So a little bit expensive, so hopefully we get some, maybe some Hall of Famers or something like that in here, some cool cards. I know in the All Sports version last year I pulled like a Ty Cobb smoking jacket card, like Ted Williams, all kinds of cool players. So let's see what football has to offer. So there's a look at our box. They are very heavy duty, so very well protected. Um, and they're going to have a little QR code on them, which basically brings you to the website where you can see a little bit of more information about you know, the piece of memorabilia that's on the card. So that's pretty cool, too. But we should get three premium ones. Let's see how we do. I think we just open. Well, that's a good first one for me. So we got OBJ. I will take that. So there's a look at what they do. So they kind of got the swatch in there inside the mag with the card. Um... So OBJ, good first uh, for the PC right there. Still talk of where OBJ is going to wind up, but I'll take that. Get that out of the way. We'll take a look at the back. So I'll just hold it up so it doesn't. But you can see this was worn on November 14th, 2016 by the player depicted on the accompanying card. Um, so that's pretty cool. If you scan this QR code, it should bring you to a page that says a little bit more about the jersey. So let's get into our second one. That's a good start for me, though. At least I got one PC card out of here. I, I always liked Odell. I know it got a little dicey at the end there with the with the Giants, but I think Dave Gettleman manufactured a lot of that. So I'd welcome him back if they want to bring him back. Card number two. Hey, Troy Aikman. That's a pretty cool patch. You got the perforations in there. So 1990 Fleer Troy Aikman card. This one's really in there. So Hall of Fame QB. Bunch of Super Bowls for the Cowboys. And this was worn in 1996. This is a jersey worn, so no specific date on that one, but you can scan that code. Maybe I'll take a look at all these later, see if there's any more information on them. Let's say pretty good start. Two very good players. Starts off, one Hall of Famer. You know, we'll see what happens with the rest of Odell's career. Kind of probably hinges on how he comes back from this injury. Next one, Kurt Warner. So I'd say we're doing pretty good so far. Got Kurt Warner with the nice yellow Rams there. Let's see what year is upper deck. Can't tell what year, but uh, maybe 2000. Let's see through here. Pair of pants worn in 1999 by the player company on the card. So we got some game worn Kurt Warner pants with that nice Rams yellow. So I'd say we're doing pretty well. These boxes are super heavy duty too. Probably good to ship stuff in. I like these cards. I know some people think they're kind of cheap with the with the swatch in there, but I like them. A dual patch numbered card. 17 out of 25. Is this Terrell Davis? 
can't tell too well. Yep, looks like Terrell Davis. Obviously, I was very young in the 90s, so don't know them too much by, you know, Jersey, but 17 out of 25, dual patch, Terrell Davis. That's pretty cool. Um, and it was worn uh, on a jersey worn on July 31st, 2001. So, very nice card. I like when they have the perforations in the jerseys. So that's going to be most likely one of our premiums. So we should have two more premium jerseys left. I know one of my premiums last year in that All Sports, it was a uh, Larry Bird Magic Johnson dual patch. So that was pretty cool. We have Gardner Minshew. Where's he kicking around these days? I haven't heard much about him. After Minshew Mania there in Jacksonville for a while. Game use swatch, Gardner Minshew. I'd say that might be our first kind of dud, but Minshew still, you know, kind of sought after for collectors. Jersey worn on September 20th, 2020. Wouldn't have liked if it was like the Jaguars blue in there a little bit, but... We're halfway through. I'd say we're I'd say we're four for five. But definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments. What do you think of the product overall? Price may be a little high. Hey, Brian Erlocker. That's pretty cool. Game use swatch. I think I've said that's pretty cool for every card, but SP Authentic. Brian Erlocker. I like how they changed the location of the patch on every card too. Jersey worn in 2002. So 20 years ago. A lot of Hall of Famers we're picking up. Love to see like an Eli. But I did already get the Odell, so I'm not going to be greedy. Joe Mixon had a, oh man, Joe Mixon had a crazy game last week. So we got the Joe Mixon. That's Legacy. Out of 2019. Yeah, it looks like that's 18, so this would be 19. November 11th, 2018 jersey. So very nice Joe Mixon card. Coming off, uh, I think he had like 55 fantasy points. It's insane. Bunch of players had really good weeks lately. Justin Fields had that crazy rushing game. All right, we got three left. Hunter Henry. All right. Kind of an under-the-radar tight end, I think. He's had a decent career. Hunter Henry, game use swatch. And that is from a jersey worn December 1st, 2019. Next two up. We've only gotten that one dual patch card, but maybe I have to look and see what they consider a premium patch, like Hall of Fame players, that kind of thing. Maybe that, like Aikman, Terrell Davis, those are our two. Or maybe these are both going to be Premier. Hey, that's a nice patch. Look at that. One, two, three, four color patch. Five out of 50, Matthew Stafford. And it's on a Topps football card, which is really cool to see. Is that like 14, maybe? 11. Okay, I was off by a few years. 2000... 22 Jersey Fusion, worn in 2013 by the player depicted. That is a cool patch, though. Lions fans out there, very nice patch. 5 out of 50. So that would definitely be another one of our premiums. So maybe this last one is going to be premium as well. Stafford and the Rams kind of having a disappointing Super Bowl follow-up season, as a lot of teams do. Put our last pack here, and then we'll do... We'll kind of run through them all again. And, wow, two Briner lockers. This one's going to be the premium. So that is 49 out of 50. This one's got the two color, at least orange and white, maybe around the number. So don't like getting two of the same player, but Urlacher is a good one to get. And this is also from the jersey worn in 2002. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's the same jersey, just a different part of it. Like I said, I'm going to scan all these QR codes later, see a little bit more information, but let's go through them again. So we started off with the OBJ, 
and we had Troy Aikman, Kurt Warner, Gardner Minshew, Brian Urlacher, number one, Joe Mixon, Hunter Henry, and then our premiums, we had the Urlacher out of 50 with the two colors, then we had the Stafford out of 50 with the four colors, this might be my favorite one of the box, and then we had the Terrell Davis double patch out of 25 with the blue and the orange pros and prospects card from Upper Deck, so drop some comments, let me know what you guys thought. I would say the price on this is probably come, going to come down a little bit. I think that price point's a little high. And definitely keep your eye out in Walmart because I remember last year these did hit the shelves over there for like 25 to 30 bucks a box. Pretty cool mystery product. So uh, let me know what you guys thought. Thank you so much for watching. And remember to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Bye, everybody.